Alright guys, welcome to another episode. Today is May the 9th, 2021. We are officially changing species. We're switching away from crappie and white bass. Today we are targeting spawning channel cat and flathead. We're going to set limb lines out tonight with glow sticks on them. Right now it's 3 in the afternoon. I gotta go set up about 10 limb lines on the trees and then we're gonna go catch bait before dark. We'll have about three good hours to catch bluegill. So that's what we gotta focus on, catching about 20, 30 bluegill. If we don't get a lot, I'll cut them in half and use them as cut bait, but I'm hoping to use them alive because you're more likely to catch a nice flathead on live bait. So stay tuned. Should be a good day. We got low pressure right now, very low pressure. Complete overcast, 56 degrees. Just a light enough wind, it'll keep the bugs off of us. We wanted to make good one good catfish spawning trip before it got 90 degrees and mosquitoes. So this is the day I'm hoping for. We're gonna stay really late if they're doing good throughout the night if they keep biting on the limb lines. So let's hope that happens. I'll turn back on as soon as we're actually doing something worth watching. Thanks for watching, guys. It's on a limb line. It's been an hour. We've had seven misses. Not a good ratio going, but we got one that finally stayed on. This same fish has hit this same line. This is the third time it's went off. This is a bluegill head, just cut in half. We've had seven giants, too. Filming? No. Don't worry about filming. Alright guys, we got our first channel cat. I think it's a channel, yeah. Is that a flathead? It could be. He's got a big head. Yeah, but it would be flatter than that. I can't tell yet. Though. No, it's a channel. Alright, hold the camera and the light. Right, guys, let's see how big this boy is. No, what do you, where do you think you're going? Huh? Yeah, he's about four or five. That's not bad at all. All right, guys, first blood. He's actually about way bigger than I thought. He's about. Why well, you don't own the lights? Eight. You cannot see that. You... So I remember where to shine it? Down here oh. at my chest. But right here where my chest plate is to get the best results. All right, guys. About, about seven or eight pound. I cannot see male you. Male channel. I didn't see you. It's dark. It'll show up just because you can't see it doesn't mean it ain't showing up. It's about a seven or eight pound male channel. Does it show me on the screen? All right, let's get him off. Get this thing rebaited. It, again, again, again. Okay, well, let me get him off. Good hook set, man. All right, now I gotta hold me in place. Now let me get the <coughs> love on. Hey, something, right? Problem is we got jugs in the cooler. That's where we need to put him. All right, guys, this is a way bigger channel cat than I thought. 
He's about eight pounds. Pretty decent. Not bad at all. We're gonna have to see if this will fit in the bucket or just wanna turn it loose. I wanna go so Virgil. Keep him down here for now until we get more, I'll figure out what to do. What, what, that one, some? Yeah, I'm gonna put bait on here. channel about seven pounds yeah I was right it's the one with the circle hook on it not bad guys pretty decent about a seven pound female channel cat this time real pale colored full of eggs then cover your face about 20 four inches Beautiful channel though. Nice, Put the other side. Of nice the fish. female channel. Not a bad fish. <laughs> Pretty nice. Take her. Boy, she hooked herself good. Perfect hook set right through the eye though. So we got two fish in the first hour. We've had seven misses, so we are officially two for nine. <sighs> really tiny mouth on this female, but that she's bloated. It's a heavy fish, as you can tell by the gut. <sighs> Pretty nice. About six pounds. Oh, the males got such a. The males have such a bigger mouth and head. All right, open the lid. Really, not until I fucking got close to him. You probably started, just thought it was the damn bait, when didn't that you? Did yeah. start splashing. Oh, he's <laughs> easily. I got a scale, but I, I don't know if, what the max is. I think it might just be 50 oh max. Oh my gosh. That's big, ain't it? Think it'll read? I can see it. We'll try it. that oh. when we get up to the oh. boat ramp, so I don't have to worry about him flopping out. God. Oh. He's got 10 pounds of meat on his fucking head. Guys, this is the biggest flathead I've ever seen. Oh my God. It's his personal best. And honestly, we didn't think they got this big in here. I didn't. I, I mean, I you've caught, what, that. a 30? 30 is the biggest one I've caught out of here. He might. Yeah, he's easily 80. I mean, he's as wide as I am. Oh, my. You're lucky you got to him when you did it. He would have snapped that fucking. I had, I had we him grab all me way by down. my feet so I could pull it in. We've just been hanging out down there seeing what they was doing. Right here. <clears throat> I'm going to have it like, try to get a. Good picture. Yeah, a good picture of you, man. Guys, this is the biggest flathead I've ever seen. Look at this beast. They also got about a seven or eight pound channel. Oh my God. All right, let me unzoom. I'm gonna have to back up a little bit, man. <laughs> he said, don't worry, it ain't heavy. <laughs> oh my, I can't even get the whole thing in there. Let me back up about five feet. Now I can. Shine the light on him real good, yeah. Let me see if this'll help. <laughs> Guys, that is a absolute giant. Holy cow, man. You just never know. It's freaking slow day, but you know what? The one fish can make it worth coming. And that's proof right there. That's gonna make it worth coming forever. <laughs> we got to show Virgil this man. He's never seen nothing like that in his life. I've seen ones like this on, on the Mississippi. I hadn't seen one that big yet. 
I haven't I haven't caught one that big yet. God. I've seen some that were big. The only time I've seen one like that, it was we had a trot line on the Mississippi, and it, he like usually don't get flatheads on trot lines because we use these dead shad. Yeah. But it was on the very first hook, right below the dike, where it was so swift that it was probably moving the uh, moving the shad. God, that's what we came here for, too, man. That's what I've been coming here for for God. six years, and I just haven't managed to get one yet. Oh, not my that, not God. Not like that. I've had them break me off. Yeah. I've got it close <laughs> to them. If, if you wouldn't have been near and you would have left that overnight, there would have been no hope. I don't know what's great. Well, we've been down there. We've been gone for, what, 45 minutes, I bet. Yeah. yeah the boat ramp ran all over. I we heard you fun. say something. <laughs> I was like, what's is, he say? I heard you say fuck, and that's all something. Tony and his wife are down there. They're like, I guarantee you that flathead that broke us off, that broke off yesterday, every bit of 80 pounds. The <laughs> fin on this flathead is the size of a ham sandwich. <laughs> Why am I comparing it to a ham sandwich? I don't know. It's just what it looks like. Goodness yeah, great. It, it wasn't huge, but it wasn't a baby one. <laughs> My gosh, <laughs> that thing has about, I that's can't, a, that's you, a size 13. He's yeah, the same <laughs> 52 inches long guys, I guarantee you're going to have fun opening it to see what's in its I'm stomach, what man. Eating, yeah. I bet there's some crawdads in there, some shad, a couple bluegill. Where's the picture of this? The big button. You this just one? hit the big button. Yes, God. Don't put on the floor. God. 